Hello again everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I continue to look at the flex control panel, this time focusing on the quarter inch line level audio inputs and outputs that are located directly on the unit itself, with inputs that can be routed to any NDI enabled software or hardware. Super flexible, powerful, and easy to configure, so let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I have my flex control panel here on my desk. I also have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up and running, and I'm gonna be running back and forth between uh, my interface and also my mixer here because I have a couple of different inputs and I'm gonna be uh, swapping back and forth via this quarter inch cable here. Okay, so an overview as far as the different inputs that are coming into the uh, flex control panel. There are four different inputs coming into them. Uh, the first two on here are gonna be two quarter inch stereo line level inputs and then you have an additional two mono quarter inch line level inputs okay so let's go through the inputs first before we get to the output side of things so i'm just going to show you visually on here how i can get this audio coming through so i have this uh, quarter inch cable again plugged into my audio mixer that my microphone is running off of and i'll be putting it into these inputs uh, and just showing you visually uh, how this is coming in. Okay, so first things first, uh, I'm going to plug it into one of the mono, or sorry, one of the uh, stereo inputs, but just on the uh, the left side of it, and I'll show you why here in a second. So I have this one going into my input number one on my flex control panel. Now I'm going to move over to my TriCaster 2 Elite interface, and let's go ahead and bring that signal in. So I'm going to be doing that on input number one here. Now, first thing I want to uh, just illustrate is if we go to input number one and click this drop down connection, we have our local connections here, but those are going to be for your actual hardware connections on the TriCaster 2 Elite itself. So say things like uh, your uh, XLR inputs or your SDI inputs coming in. So uh, the audio that's going to be coming from the flex control panel is not going to be coming from the local sources. Since this is an NDI enabled piece of equipment, we need to basically treat this like we would a video source, uh, but on the audio end. So what we'll do is I'll go through my list here and look for my flex control panel. There it is, flex. And I'm gonna bring in flex input number one. And right away you can see over here, input number one, this is my uh, audio from my mixing board. This is my voice coming through on number one. Now, it's only coming through on the first channel because, again, like I said, this was a stereo input. Uh, but it, if you're doing things like uh, with multi-channel uh, mixing, if you want to pan things accordingly, uh, you can basically turn those stereo inputs, uh, those two stereo inputs, into four mono channels. It's kind of up to you how you want to route that. But I just want to show you visually uh, how this is going to look. So uh, right now I have it plugged into input number one, the left channel. Let me go ahead and unplug that and go right channel and, and now that's coming in as well now something i also want to point out so you'll also see on number one here my uh, audio levels coming through uh, visually on the vu meter now we do have this knob here and if i twist it down you'll see on the interface that goes down or if i twist it up same thing so you have tactile control over your audio directly on the flex control panel which is awesome also if you want to mute it all you have to do is Tap on the knob itself and you'll see the VU meter goes away and on the interface same thing it's just basically grayed out on the audio mixer side and if I click it again bam my audio is back okay so now let's do the same thing on the uh, input number two so uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and on my connection drop down the flex input two all right, again, no audio just yet because I need to physically move that cable. So grab my quarter inch cable and boom, there we go. So number one is coming through on the left channel and now let's try it again on the right channel. Bam, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is let's try out the, uh, the mono inputs coming into the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in over here. They're next to the ethernet jack and go back into my interface and now I'm going to bring up the flex talkback which is what I have it plugged into right now and uh, so this is a little bit different again since I said this was a mono signal now both channels one and two are coming through because it's coming off the same uh, signal uh, into the system all right now we do have also a microphone 
input as well next to the talk back. Plug it in there and go back into the flex. Select flex microphone. Boom, good to go. So same thing there. So uh, again, the stereo channels and the mono channels operate differently, but that's just for you to play around with if you're doing some fun uh, routing and mixing, etc. Okay, so now what I want to do is show you the different ways to get uh, audio uh, out of the flex control panel. All right, so I'm going to go into the flex and put this back into input number one here. And then also I'm going to go into my sound mixer here and start playing some audio. All right, so uh, you'll see over here on the right side of the interface, my different uh, audio levels uh, jumping on my auxes one and two, also my headphones and master. And on the flex control panel itself, let me go ahead and zoom back out. You'll see those are bouncing over here as well. And same thing on these, if I crank them up or down via the knobs, tactile control, sweet. And I can mute them etc. directly from here. All right. So uh, as far as the hardware outputs are concerned, there are two stereo quarter inch line level outputs. And uh, on these, uh, the, the configuration of these is by default, the uh, is, uh, output number one is going to be whatever's coming out of your master audio channel. And then output number two is what's ever coming out of your aux one. So that's just going to be kind of similar to how the, the uh, hardware outputs are, like, like the XLR outputs are on, say, like the TriCaster T2 Elite. And now let's go ahead and I'll show you visually how that's going to look. So I'm going to create a little loop here. So first things first, let me get my t cables untangled here. <laughs> so I'll plug uh, one quarter inch cable into the output, the left channel output, and bring it into input number one. And then the same thing, the right channel output, and bring that into input two. And let's go ahead and open up that audio configuration again, just so you can see it. So there you go. Those are both the, the channels coming from my master output. So for example, if I mute my master output, the input will go away like that. Cool. All right, just to show you that it's actually doing something here since you can't hear what's going on. We don't need a bunch of background music in here uh, muddling up what I'm saying. So uh, now the next thing I want to show you is on the aux side. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the master audio just to let you know that it's muted. And now I'm going to switch the output cables over to output number two here, which again is hard uh, coded to be uh, aux number one. And so now you'll see I have those audio levels coming in on uh, aux one. That's a little hot right now, so let me go ahead and turn that down. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. So now it's a little bit more manageable here. And again, if I mute it on my control panel, those go away. Cool. So some fun stuff you can do with this. Uh, and also, we have a headphones uh, output that is going to be over here, just a quarter inch as well. And that's just so you can plug in some headphones and monitor anything that's coming out of the headphone jack, which you can uh, also manipulate uh, via the uh, TriCaster interface as well. So that'll be whatever's coming out of whatever you have routed to master or, or to, specifically to your headphones, etc. So some very cool stuff you can do with this. Extremely powerful, extremely flexible, hence the name Flex. And I highly recommend playing around with it. And of course, you know me. Have some fun! There you have it, another super cool way to use the Flex Control Panel. For more tutorial videos like this one to help you learn more about new tech products, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. You can also receive formal new tech product training by signing up for New Tech University, which you can find at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on new tech products and services, contact your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags newtech, tricaster, or threeplay. We love seeing what you're working on. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.